Greetings, this is Ben Murray, founder and instructor at the SAS Academy, and welcome to the SAS in 60, where I explain a SAS metric or concept in 60 seconds. So let's get started. Today's topic, COGS versus OPEX, a common question that I receive. So what is COGS? Cost of goods sold, or COGS, are the expenses in our SAS business that are required to deliver and or support our revenue streams and our customers. OPEX, or operating expenses, and I couldn't find a great definition for this, so this is my definition for OPEX, are the expenses below gross profit that support the infrastructure growth and continued development of our business model. So this is a SAS P&L, so COGS versus OPEX. On the top here, in the top red box, we have our traditional COGS departments. That includes tech support, professional services, customer success if they don't sell, and cost of ops or DevOps that hold our hosting third-party product cost buried in our software. In the green box, we have our operating expenses or OPEX, so research and development, our dev team, sales, marketing, GNA, GNA including HR, finance, accounting, IT, etc. So why is this important to understand COGS versus OPEX and get that expense coding correct in our P&L? Well, in SaaS, we must understand our overall gross margin and our margins by revenue stream. It also helps us understand our financial profile, which is key. So in our business, what is working, not working, and where should we invest in our P&L to improve revenue, to improve gross margins, to improve our OPEX profile? So thanks for joining me today in the SaaS and 60. To learn more, check out the sasacademy.com and the sascfo.com.